Hey, what's up everybody? It's Angelic Vixen from Lucky by Nature. Today's video is all about Tech Tier. Um, I am super excited. Ever since it came out of PC, I couldn't wait to get it and try it. So today I'm sharing with you the results of all the testing that I've done. Um, that way you can make an informed decision whether you think Tech Tier is worth it or not worth it. Um, tech Tier takes a ton of work to get and a ton of work to maintain. So this way, when you see the results, you will be able to decide if it's worth it for you to actually get Tech Tier. So let's get right into it and I hope you enjoy the video. First, we have to talk about how amazing Tech Tier looks. Uh, I, this is so exciting for me. As a Halo and Destiny player, having this type of gear in Ark is such a bonus. It's such a major improvement to what we currently have available to us. Okay, so now let's talk about just how challenging Tech Tier truly is. And the reason that it's challenging is because you have to go in and fight each one of the bosses. This is a great way for Wildcard to actually ensure that people are going to go in and fight the bosses. So you have to fight each one of the bosses to open up the engrams to even get Tech Tier. When you beat the bosses, you will get element in their inventory. The element is what you use to make the tech tier work, but you're only going to get a certain amount of element per boss that you beat, depending on the level in which you go in. So for instance, easy with the broodmother, you're only going to get 10 element. So what makes this so difficult is the fact that you have to go in and constantly fight the bosses just so you can replenish your stock of element to ensure that your tech tier gear continues to work. But the challenge doesn't end with just the fact you have to continually fight the bosses. You also have to get the tribute requirements to summon each one of those same bosses. So let's go on and look at each one of the tribute requirements per boss. So as you can see, this is why the challenge continues. If you notice, each one of the tribute requirements has artifacts. The artifacts are from the caves. If you've ever been in the caves, you know just how difficult the majority of them are. So not only do you have to continually go into the caves to get the artifacts just to summon the bosses, but then on top of that, you have to go in and fight each one of those bosses just to get more element. All right, so let's get into the tech tier items. This is the tech tier replicator. To get the tech tier replicator, you have to beat your first boss, which will open up the tech gram, and you have to make this at the obby or beacon. And the replicator is what you use to make all of the tech tier gear. So even though the tech tier is super amazing, you have to factor in that it's not cheap to make. So I'm gonna go through the list of all of the tech tier items that are currently available and what it takes to make each one. So out of the crafting requirements, there's one thing I want you to notice on each and every one of them. Element is required just to craft the item. So you need element to craft all of the items and make them run. So this is actually my favorite tech tier item. This is the tech tier transmitter. So this is just like a beacon or an obby. You can transmit arc data or transfer between arc servers. But the nice thing about this is it's at your base. You can use it whenever you want to. So the question remains, is it worth it to get tech tier? So I'm going to show you what it's like to use the tech rifle to kill different dinos. As you can see, the tech rifle kills things with ease. It's undoubtedly a great rifle but I don't know if it's worth it when you base it on the difficulty in getting it and maintaining it. However, I can tell you the tech tier rifle was so much fun underwater. I killed everything I came across with ease. So I really liked the tech rifle for my sea adventure. Okay, let's move on to the Rex tech saddle it is a really amazing saddle it shoots lasers from the rex um, i had absolutely no issue whatsoever killing different dinos with the laser it's a very powerful laser 
that one was kind of shocking. <laughs> so it didn't matter the level of the dino that I came across, I was able to take them out with ease. You can use the tech gauntlets to uh, do resource gathering in a much more interesting way. And you can also attack creatures and kill them with a very powerful punch. The tech leggings allow for you to move at super speeds where you can go through trees and rocks with ease. Really nothing can stand in your way except for a mountain or a cliff. It's a great way to move to and from a location as well because nothing gets in your way to stop you. It's a really fun feature. The problem that I do see with this is it goes through a lot of element whenever you're using it. So even though it's fun, you have to ask yourself, is it really worth it? So I decided to test out the super speed against structures to see how the structure would hold up as you would if you were playing PvP and you were attacking another player's base. So as you can see, all the structures fell except for the metal. So now I'm testing out the super punch just to see how well structures would hold up against the tech tier gauntlets. They all fell with ease except for the metal, so the metal is always the best option. So now you know what it takes to get tech tier and to maintain tech tier and all of the cool features that tech tier offers. So the big question is, is tech tier really worth it? In my opinion, not really, but it does look really cool and it has some really fun features that it offers. So I think the majority of us, if we can get it, we will get it and we'll look cool doing it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. My work saved the human.